Martin Shaw is with us this morning. You've, you've seen him already. So, and you are fascinated by World War II. You actually own and fly a Spitfire, don't you? Is no. Oh, I wish. did I get that wrong? <laughs> do you no, have a World um, War II plane? I do you? own a, a World yeah. War II plane. Yeah. Uh, a Spitfire be a bit beyond my pay grade. Right, OK. <laughs> in, in many respects. No, the, the aeroplane that I fly, it is oh, a it Second is. World War warbird. Oh, yeah, there yeah. it is, right. Now, that's, that's when it was in its civilian colours. But you've had it all done up now, have you? Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. think we don't acknowledge those who fought in World War II enough and the stories they have to tell and what we can learn from it? I don't know whether we... I mean, you can never acknowledge them no, enough. True. I mean, the point is the... Uh, the way we live our lives now and the freedoms that we enjoy now, yeah. we owe to these people who went through the war, whether they were civilians or frontline fighters. Mine is the only generation in probably thousands of years that hasn't had to go away and fight somewhere. So right, yeah. you're so we right. Um, so let's talk about this look. I, so when Must you, we? Well, it's just so funny because... Well, we can't avoid it. We really can't much. avoid it. right it. there in your yeah. Why <laughs> is this a new summer fashion look, for you? Yes. <laughs> no, <clears throat> it's because of the play I'm in, Hobson's Choice, which is set in 1880. Ah. So this is your, this is your Salford cobbler's 1880 look. Look. So wow. what is the play about? You studied it at school, didn't we you? We did, yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's a great British classic. They made a film of it in the 50s with Charles right. Lawton and John Mills. And uh, it's about a family in Salford and Manchester in 1880. Uh, and he's a self-made man, very domineering. He's got three lovely daughters, but one of them is very, very strong, and she out-dominates him in the end. Uh, and it's about this man who starts off just thinking about nothing but beer and dominating his daughters and ends up being dominated himself by yeah. the, uh, the top dog daughter. And it's a far cry from what many viewers will know you of, Judge John Deed and all these other mm. fantastic roles you've had. And I understand, I mean, Lisa in makeup, I'm going to out her now, and I said, oh, Mr Shaw's on the show. Later. She said, oh, what a looker. What a looker. She was very, very excited. But in the show, you have this, uh, in, in Hobson's Choice, you have a fat suit a fat on as suit. well, don't you? Yeah, in yeah. summer. How has that been? Has it been hard? Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely. When we had the, the heat wave a couple of weeks ago, it was miserable. Because the yeah. fat suit goes from my elbows to my knees. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it's all, it's, it's padded right out, and there's a tweed suit on top of that. You're probably sweating pounds, so you had the yeah. fat suit on and losing weight underneath the whole <laughs> yeah, time. I'm hoping. Uh, <laughs> but it's also a very muscular role anyway. I mean, it takes a great deal of physical effort. Mm. Yeah. And, and it's very funny, you know. It's, a, it? it's, oh, God, yes. Well, the sign outside says, uh, an outrageous comedy. It's not exactly farce, but it's, uh, because it's much better constructed than that. It's a serious story but it's just incredibly funny. You're very fit to take on roles like this, aren't you? And there's a I hope so. Yeah, yeah, and there's a, there's a bit, big story in the paper today saying that being vegetarian is incredibly good for you. I think it's something like a 10% decrease in, in death from all sorts of causes. Yes, I saw that in the Did paper this morning. Well? Yeah. And you've been a vegetarian for, for decades, haven't you? Uh, 45 years, 46 wow. years, yes. Was that a lifestyle choice? Yes. Yes, I mean, it was an overnight choice. Was it? Really? Yeah, and yeah. teetotal? Yeah. Yeah, Why? but I made up plenty of drinking before I finally became did you? teetotal. I did Very a lifetime cool. of drinking first and then, and then stopped 45 years ago. But the, um, the vegetarian thing was actually fairly simple because I just made up my mind. And mm. just thought, right, enough now. And yeah. you feel better for it, do you? I think so. I mean, after so many years, it's very hard to compare it with anything. Yeah. You know, and I we, you started acting when you were three with your parents. No. And now, isn't, isn't this repeat history repeating itself now with your son they weren't they acting you, with you? Both that were two of your sons with, in Judge Odd Deed at one point. At, uh, yes, at various points. Both yeah. of my sons have been, been in uh, Deed. My daughter was, uh, played my daughter when I did wow. Man for All Seasons at yeah. the Haymarket. How does that feel for, as a parent? It's the same as any other actor. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they have to they have to audition for the role. I don't have, nor do I want, that kind of clout where I say, right, you've got to cast such and such a person, and I can suggest them, and then they go along and go through the same process as anybody else. Do you get yeah. to tell them off, though, if you're the dad? You mean within the role? Yeah, no, it's uh, usually the other way around. <laughs> oh, right, OK. Yeah. Lovely to talk to you. And I like the sideburns. I think you should keep them. Oh, Have I, I don't think so. <laughs> OK, all right. Thank you play a Brit in this for the first time. Right, right. And yeah, I guess... But see, Brit, uh, uh, Fraser was always sort of stuck in the, uh, the mid-Atlantic. Right, yes. so you were more British than yeah, you really are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm certainly, I'm certainly more American than Fraser is. <laughs> yeah, which I think, I guess, is makes us think.